Sam, the man who needed a bit of good luck this afternoon, was one of the two men sitting here, Shilkut Ali, who with his great friend Dave Howard, as we saw, married in the summer, Dave, and Shilkut was your usher. Um, that wasn't very friendly out there this afternoon, was it, 5-0? No, not at all. Uh, Shilkut struggled with the conditions. I never really gave him a chance the first two frames, but after that he missed a couple of blues off the spot. And he struggled a bit, and he looked a bit merciless, but uh, it's never easy playing your mates, you know, your best mate as well. And uh, hopefully we won't do it too many times in the future. Yeah, one particular blue we saw, Showcat, that we saw most of the match, really, but I think you were on your highest break of 11 in that blue. Well, the actually, the, the plan was to get a good start, you know, a possibly good long red in the first frame, and I rolled the blue and I left it over the old. If I get a 30 on the board, I'm relaxed, you know, and then I can play a bit. But Dave, seeing that, he played well. And to be honest with you, I never really gave him a game out there. Mm. The first blue I missed, it landed a bit awkward. I'm screaming around, you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit thick. And the second one, I was, I didn't really fancy, you know, I never felt comfortable. Sometimes you can you can have a black off his spot and you don't particularly yeah. fancy yeah. unless he's the right side. But you're on a big high, you've beaten Jimmy White, you've beaten Ken Doherty. Did the fact you were playing him, who you've known for years and have the laugh, sort of make any difference? Not necessarily, no. My, my main pri <coughs> priority was to to get as further as I can because I've had a such mm. a terrible season. My main aim is to go up the rankings, you know, and this is where the high, you get more points say, if you get to the mm. quarters and semis. So I think I was under more pressure than Dave. I felt it as well. So no excuses and uh, it's just a shame that I never gave him a game. Mm. Mm. Uh, and you must be delighted with that because that was one of your best performances. Yeah, delighted with the performance. I think I've, I've played better probably in the first round, but Shokat gave me a big deal. You know, he never really put me, any under, put me under any pressure. Um, he struggled with the conditions, the table, the fastness mm. of it, and uh, mm. he'll come back and he's proved he's, he's a top 32 player. He's been struggling this season, mm. but I'm sure uh, with the qualifiers coming up in January, he'll get through and make sure of his 64 place. And he's proved this week he's, he's, a, he's a good player and he can play the best and beat him. Mm. What about your game over the last couple of years? I mean, you had a great run here in the Grand Prix a few years back, didn't you? Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how things are going. Um, I've got a new coach now, Mike Smith, and he's helped me along the way. He's with me all the time here, and that obviously helps. Um, I've been playing steady snooker. I've qualified in two out of three overseas in the qualifiers, mm. so <coughs> the season's going pretty well. Uh, my main aim, obviously, is to get back in the top 16 where I was for two seasons, because it's not easy playing them qualifiers down at Plymouth. Oh, they're terrible, aren't they? Yeah, you, you've got like two <coughs> man and a dog watching <coughs> it. You know, it was nice to see a good crowd out there, yeah. and uh, hopefully we can play against some. Well, you can sit and wait now, because there's either going to be some young chap called Henry or Brian Morgan. That's an interesting little prospect. Well, I've played Stephen uh, eight or nine times. I've got a few victories against him, and but Brian's playing well, and you know you just have to wait and see who wins. Mm. Uh, I think he'll give Stephen a good game. Mm. Obviously, you've got mm. fancy Stephen, but who yeah. knows? Well, we were talking before when we were watching her about all the jokes we were having around the table, and you were saying you needed a new cue case and he got all the money. I was just checking the cash register here. Uh, Dave Harold, you are now guaranteed 9,100, and you got 4,600. Is there any deal he's going to give you some of his earnings if you get to the No, it's not a man to get money out of. <laughs> he actually owes me two pounds because we always play best of nine for two quid a time. I haven't got it on yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the usual, no change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not going to hit him, you're going to shake hands on him. Yeah. Right. Good luck, Dave. All the best, Shane. Yeah. Shame I couldn't give you again. Oh, next time. And get the money off him. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, it's nothing like um, friendly people in sport, but it does all get a bit too serious at times, doesn't it? Serious out there, but it shouldn't be once you're off the table. Quite right. We hear a lot from the commentators and the experts and the gurus of this game about the speed of the cloth, the way it.